Many people ask me this. What is the best Cisco training course? There are tons of available courses and specialization. And the answer may vary based on your current role or preferred career path. But in this video, I will share to you as an instructor slash CCSI, the top Cisco courses that you may want to take. Before we continue, please like this video. And for those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm a certified instructor for over 10 years in Cisco, F5, and Arista. I also deliver open source technologies such as Python, containers, and security. On this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. Here is the situation. You want a price. You get a free set of a Cisco course of your choice. But there are too many choices. What would be the best among of all of these available Cisco courses? This is an instructor slash CCSI point of view. I know the value and what these courses can bring on the table. I know this because I have delivered over 40 different courses through my entire CCSI career. To limit the options, what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on official courses that is only associated to a certification. And I will only provide you my top three courses. And lastly, you should be already familiar with networking. So you already have your CCNA or at least CCNA level knowledge. So what is the best Cisco course? <laughs> Definitely not CCNA. There are lots of cheap CCNA courses available. You should choose a more expensive, rare, but in-demand Cisco skills. Rank three, implementing and operating Cisco Security Core Technologies or S-Core. This course covers lots of technology, such as next generation firewall, VPN, web email security, DNS, advanced malware, etc. It also covers 802.1x, SDN, many different attacks, programmability and automation, and many others. Once you pass the associated exam, which is also titled S-Core, you will be one half CCNP security, and you are eligible to take CCIE Security Lab. When you pass the exam, you will be certified as Cisco Certified Specialist in Security Core. This course covers more than nine different security appliances, at least, like Firepower, ICE, Stealthwatch, ESA, WSA, ASA, Umbrella, etc. Knowing all of these technologies will definitely give you better opportunities, like a higher raise, a promotion, or help you land a better job role. I know what you're thinking. If this course is so good, why is it only rank three and not two or one? Well, we have two reasons. First, there are too many topics and it can't be covered in just five days. Some topics are self-study. So that's one of the disadvantage. You won't learn everything during class, but you will have access to the lab for the self-study. It's just not explained and assisted by your instructor. Second, all lab components are virtual. Yes, the firepower, routers and switches, ESA, WSA, all of these are VMs. That would cost less on the lab build. But overall, uh, this is one of the best course. And uh, we are talking about CCNP and CCIE security, which is, I believe, well, for me at least, is the best Cisco security path. I will add the link on the description regarding video where I talk about the best Cisco concentration. Implementing and configuring Cisco Identity Service Engine or SIS. It is a specialization under CCNP security. 
So if you pass the associated exam along with S-score, you will be CCNP security. What made this score so good is it covers components associated to Cisco ICE. ICE is an identity management solution and it works with many different components such as switches, firepower, VPNs, WLC, Active Directory, Endpoint, etc. This is one of the solutions that is difficult to understand if you do self-study. And one of the reasons is it covers many different features, such as AAA, 802.1x, MAB, CWA, Profile, Posture, TrustSec, etc. And these are not related even to routing and switching from CCNA. Knowing the solution, of course, will get you a better opportunities. It's a solution that can be implemented with data center, enterprise, service provider, etc. Another thing that worth mentioning is Cisco ICE is a core component of SD Access or DNAC solution. And lastly, the lab. See this lab? Yeah, this lab. This is a masterpiece. The best lab on any Cisco official course. Where would you see a lab that consists of routers, switches, ASA, far power, uh, redundant ice, wireless devices, stellwatch, multiple endpoint servers, and uh, other security appliances? It's comparable to a CCI lab, don't you think? The question is, why is this course not number one? Well, we have disadvantages. Not all labs are created equal. Some Cisco training partner uses a different lab and it's not as good as the lab environment shown. Another disadvantage is due to pandemic, we have less access to enterprise or office network. You still use Cisco eyes for VPN, like VPN posture assessment, but less in wireless and 802.1x. So in short, you don't use the full capability of Cisco ICE when everyone is working from home. And this is what makes a Cisco ICE specialist a little less in demand. Number one, best Cisco course, implementing Cisco application-centric infrastructure or DCACI. So ACI is a Cisco software-defined networking solution. It's different than the traditional networking we know and designed for cloud and next-generation data centers. It's an advanced course and it's very rare, even in gray market. It's a specialization under CCNP data center. Once you pass the associated exam, which is also titled DCACI, together with DC Core, you will be certified as CCNP data center. Here's the question. Can you self-study DCACI from scratch? How about the lab? You can't build your own DCACI lab without purchasing the hardware. How about simulation? Well, simulation is available, but very limited features. It will only work with Cisco Nexus 9000 switch hardware in ACI mode. This technology is getting even more and more in demand. Here's the good news. If you are specializing in ACI and you're that damn good, in California at least, you will get a minimum of 240K per year, easily. Everything is good about this course, except a little limitations. Some important topics are not included, such as SDN basics, configuring APIC using CLI, ACI troubleshooting. But I have another good news. Some instructors add these topics. Before they talk about ACI, they discuss SDN basics first. We'll use lots of whiteboarding discussions such as this, then on the last day, if there is an extra time, both CLI and ACI troubleshooting will be added. All of these are again bonus topics. 
but you will only get these discussions if the instructor Just a little trivia before we go. This guy is one of the first Cisco Ice Trainer in the world back in 2012. He also built one of the first Cisco Ice Lab, which is version 1.0. The same guy, also the very first trainer to deliver next generation firewall test drive. Also, this guy. Yes, the same guy is one of the first ACI trainer. He delivered two-day ACI test drive and one-day next-generation firewall test drive around the world. 